Greetings everyone, it's Captain Castino, Castino, depending whether you watch me on Twitch or, or YouTube. Oh, so, I have decided I wanted to do another one of these videos. Um, so today's topic is going to be, um, I don't know how to put it, but one of, but while I was I was watching a video and it was like top the five most hated people in um, on cyberpunk and I have to say when it re they did mention one guy one uh, honestly one guy th this character in my opinion for me at least I shouldn't say my opinion made such an impact on me that I was kind of irritated that they never brought him back in the rest of the game. I'm of course talking about the gold-plated black Jesus himself, Dexter Deshaun. So, as anyone would know, if you played through the game, it doesn't even take that long. After, he's the one who sets up the heist where you ultimately get Johnny, but you lose. Um, Jackie, you lose Jackie. Um, now, in the end, um, Dex, the last thing you see is Dexter pulling after he shoots you, which I saw another anime, another thing where he's yelling at V, and I think it's, I, it's like, why didn't we get this? Why didn't we get this, Dexter? Why didn't we get this, Dex? Because he's just like, you fucked up! You fucked everything up! And now I gotta fix everything! And he, he's just going crazy. It's great. Um, but one thing, but anyway, so the last thing you see is him dragging your corp, your ass, out of the dumpster before the guy who, in my opinion, is probably the one I dislike the most, Takamura, shoots him in the head. And that's pretty much the end of Dex. Now, my thing is, Dex left an impression on me. Dex just, there was something about Dex. I, I think he's just a kind of villain that I like. He's, he's really, like, he thinks he's got everything figured out. He's one of these guys. He's got plans behind plans. Obviously, this plan didn't work out so well for him. But um, he's just one of these guys that you feel like could come back any time. Now, obviously, they didn't bring him back. He They left his rotting corpse in the freaking junkyard where you can, spoilers, get the plan B. He's done. So, um, the, what, now, and I was fine with that up until the latest DLC, um, hold on. Phantom Liberty came on, which, okay, they, st they weren't going to, I'm not going to tell anybody over at CDPR that, oh, why did you bring back tags or none? That's not what this is about. This is just a guy running his mouth, saying about, thinking, what could have been. Anyway, so, um, now this is, this is basically what it could have happened. I could, and I could see Dex doing all of this to save his own ass. The guy that drags you out, maybe he, if you, okay. It, maybe it could have been like a body double Dex had, because I could see Dex having like body doubles to other people who got chipped and everything to look like him in case shit happened. 
So that how that goes now. You enter Dogtown, and Mr. Hands, we'll get to him. I got another rant going on about that one. Excuse me. Mr. Hands base eventually will get to a point where he's like, hey, I need to you to I need I hey B we've been working a lot with this and you've I think I can trust you with a special project of mine. I need to get rid of this other fixer who's been mo who moved into my district recently. So V take V takes the job. And as he's going on, like the arena I didn't think was I don't think I may not I haven't played all of everything I don't think I played all everything there's in there so I like there's talk that um, he this guy that he, I that he's he's nicknamed Golden Boy or something I don't know if you can think of a better name by all means put in the comments below um, but he's running fights in the arena in an arena between Bar get it's funded by Bargast and those guys and some other people. But he's also oh, doing job oh, being a fixer. And obviously Mr. Hands isn't too happy about this because Dogtown's is supposed Dogtown Pacifica is supposed to be his turf. So what you find out as you're dealing with um, maybe while well, you're with Reed, you're dealing with, with uh, the Voodoo Boys in the Dogtown. Spoilers. And you find out that whoever this other fixer is is connected to the Voodoo Boys. In fact, he's kind of got he's kind of running with the Voodoo Boys, or he's leading the Voodoo Boys there. I'm not exactly sure how that goes, but you eventually, and V eventually finds out that it's Dexter Deshaun. The, the man cheated death, but he just basically sacrificed one of his people so he could get away. He, hell, maybe he did this two years previously. Who knows? He faints his own death. So he's, so if he finds out that he's still alive, now you can play it as, okay, do you want this, now you have a chance, do you want to go after him because of what he did? Do you want to say, you know what, fuck Dex, whatever, Dex, I'm not, I'm not worried about Dex, I have other things I'm more worried about, like Songbird getting a cure for Johnny and all that stuff. Now, here's the thing, Dex, finds out V's alive. And Dex also strikes me as a paranoid villain. That he's going to be like, oh shit, he's in Dog... Why is he in Dogtown? He must be in Dogtown to get... Because somehow he found out about me. So Dex starts trying to freaking... and kill V. Like, you just have random thugs coming up to be trying to kill them, hired by Dex. They get, sh you'll find shards, shards in where they're communicated with Golden Boy, or whatever you want, they would they call them. <coughs> now, man, again, this is just me going off on a tangent. So, he... So you do go through this. You deal with Dex. He's trying everything to kill you. Like he even, in like at one point, he'll even get you into the ring of the the uh, cause the uh, games that he's playing. He's setting up, and you have to go up against like big ass robots. It's like uh, is it called the Cerberus or the Chimera? I can't remember what that one is. You have to fight in the. Um, um, museum, but you had to fight. He forces me to go up against some of the biggest, nastiest things that he can. Now that V, well, obviously the player will survive all this, <laughs> even if it takes a few tries, which would remain probably. 
and just be in Dax's game, just get more desperate. How this ends, um, I would say either V takes out Dax or Dex ends up killing, getting so, is so freaking hell bent on killing V that he, at whatever he, his plan is to try to kill him at the time, he ends up and ended up killing himself. Again, I would, it's just, this is just something that came to mind. It's, it's just, just because Dex had so much potential, in my opinion, and he kind of mm, got hosed, in my opinion, again. I keep saying that, but I want to make sure it's not me being and getting on CDPR because, ah, you should have done something different with Dexter to Sean. Why didn't you bring him back? Eh. So, but, you know, still, the idea, the fact is, as much as I would have loved to have seen Dex somehow come back from the grave to freaking, and just try to come after, after V, whether he ends up teaming up with, um, Burgest, or maybe he's maybe someone in a higher power, even mm -hmm. like if you uh, take a certain route in the storyline, maybe he someone from the the EU, the NUSA wants him. He decides maybe this V needs to go. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It was just me going off on a tangent, so um, that's all I've got on that. So, hey, what did what did you think of Dexter? Do you think he got fine? Was it was it okay with it? I mean, I can't I can't say I'm upset about how things went, but I would like I said, how much of a did he leave a mark? Big mark. Obviously, he's a beta villain. So, uh, thanks for, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Um, hit the like, sub, uh, if you want to subscribe, and um, leave a comment, yeah, it's up to you. So, um, like I said, I have one more thing I want to, go, I'm going to be ranting about, so uh, no, we'll, I will see you in either in the next YouTube video, or in, hey, I'll leave a link in, to my Twitch stream if you want to check me out sometime. Hopefully, he, uh, I start getting streaming more often because, frankly, I my job's been kind of mm, retail. So, take care, everyone. How I hope we'll see you in the next video or stream.